The land of fire, Azerbaijan. Azer literally means fire in Turkic, but it also sheds light on the war-torn history of the Azeri population, ridden with territorial and ethnic conflicts, most notably with neighboring Armenia. Over the years, fighting has broken out sporadically between the Armenians and the Azeri forces. The latest full-on military confrontation was in 2016, centered around Nagorno-Karabakh. Just a few years ago, three miles from here in the village of Tartar, there were mortars shot hitting the buildings that we see here behind us. Since then, this town still bears the scars, but the conflict has also left the people more resilient and more attached to what they see as their land. We didn't leave. If we will die, we will die here. This is our land, no one else's. Making our way closer to the conflict line with Nagorno-Karabakh, the destruction is still evident. Well, the conflict between Armenia and Azerbaijan obviously has many casualties on both sides. Now, one of those casualties was caused in this home here, a home that was struck in 2016 by a rocket that fell and hit the home directly. My home was hit by a rocket. My daughter was hit by the rubble. We got her out of the house, then she was shot. Some areas were reconquered by the Azeris in 2016. In the fierce battle of Alatapa, Azeri forces reconquered a strategic military post overlooking Azerbaijani villages that fled after being caught in the middle of the fighting. There, in the Battle of Tartar, the Armenians used Russian tanks and artillery. The Russians have military bases in Armenia. They're under the same military structure. The main difference is that the Russians give the Armenians weapons. We buy them from the Russians. Which seems to suggest that Russia has all the necessary leverages to prevent further escalation. But will it?